Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer Year to kickstart the final trial for my tournament. The one where you get to face me and my team of beautiful dinosaurs. And yeah, let's let's not dilly dally, let's get started. Okay, representing Dino fans for this final trial, we have got Chomp. Dino fans has tasted success in both trials so far. The only one to have succeeded in both trials. And in fact, should they succeed in this trial as well, they will guarantee themselves the top seeding for the last 16 round. They'll be nigh uncatchable. We'll see how he fares that against this Soro Pelter representing me. Now what's interesting is that this Soro Pelter is a Thai specialist. So Thais will definitely favour it more than it will favour Chomp. So we'll see how that plays out. So realistically, Dino fans will want to get hits. Like, straight up hits, instead of hits through ties. Oh, the Soro Pelter gets the first hit. The type advantage all increases the damage as well. There's a tie bomb. Not the start fans would want. Ooh, that's another hit on the board. And this is not a good start for Dino fans. Look at that! Another tie bomb. A tie will win it for Soro Pelter. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> I think Dino fans' fortunes in this tough trial, in these trials, are about to run out. Wow. Chomp dispatched for the Soro Pelter, and unfortunately for Dino fans, it will not be free out of free. But let's be honest, the work was already done for them. Right then, representing Asta for this third trial, we got the Joe Boria. Asta on currently on four points, has yet to succeed in a trial, so must succeed in this trial to give themselves any chance again in that last 16 round. And if they do pass, they'll move up to nine points, which will probably take them through anyway. So yeah, it's win or bust for Asta here. Right, representing me, we got the Pachyrhinosaurus. This Pachyrhinosaurus is a counter-type powerhouse, capable of dealing massive damage with that crypt, so Asta's gonna have to be careful. Oh, that's a tie. I know I clicked hit scissors instead of paper, but it was a tie anyway. Ooh, not a good start. The Pachy Rhinosaurus gets the first hit. Although it's, it's, it's his weakest hit, so it's not too bad. Ooh, the Jogoria strikes back, though. Get a crucial hit there. Not much damage dealt. Oh, yeah, this Pachy Rhinosaurus has counter blitz as well. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to make it easy for you guys, was I? Ooh, but that tie will eat up the counter blitz. Ooh, another hit. This is good from Aster so far. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, another counter blitz. Can the Joe Boria do it? Needs to hit with a crit, really. Well, doesn't want to win. Another tie. Needs a crit, really. Oh, and he gets it. Has Aster passed the trial? But yeah, you can get a taste of uh, what it means to have tight disadvantage here, but... Yes, Asta's done it! Oof, Asta on the third attempt of asking succeeds in one of my trials. And that will take them up to nine points. And that will probably put them through to the last 16. Okay, representing Ultima Dino King for this trial, we have got a Shantungasaurus. Ultima Dino King currently sitting on seven points, so in a comfortable position here, but... You know, we probably would like to get something from this trial. Because seven points is the minimum mark. Is like the minimum you need. Right, representing me, we got the Mega Raptor. Well, oh, it said it goes big for this trial and use a grass dinosaur. We'll see if that pays off. It probably won't. <laughs> but, you know, you might either go big or go home. Ooh, 
first hit on the board. Not bad. Yeah, look at that. And Dino... And, oh, and it's got Dino Illusion as well. <laughs> Ugh. The tie. The tie will probably do more damage. And I should point out that if we can get the Mega Raptor down to half health, Ultimate will get two, bone, two points. Needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion, and there it is. There goes the Dino Illusion. Really needs a crit, this champ. Oh, the random number generator is playing up again. Ah, there we go. Rock. Ooh, gets another hit on the board. Chipping away at the Mega Raptor's health, so. Oh my god, another Dino Illusion. <laughs> Ooh, what we got here? A nature's blessing. Well, that won't help if the Mega Raptor gets a crit. Okay, there goes Dino Illusion number two. <laughs> this could be a slog fest. Especially if this Mega Raptor doesn't get any hits. Oh, there's another tie. I tell you what, this Shant's pulling up the fight. Ooh, ooh. Oop, that's, that's below half HP, so you know what that means. Ultimate Dino King will be getting at least two points from this trial. But can they get five? Another tie. The tie's suiting the Shant, though. It suits the Shant. Oh, the Mega Raptor gets the hit. Well, they put up a good fight, but yeah, the, the difference there. Mega Raptor getting two hits and Shank getting like, what, five? And the Dino Illusions on top. The Mega Raptor just proving too strong, but Ultimate does get two points from this trial. Right then, coming in for Dex in Winters. For this third trial, we got Sorrow Faganax. Dex in the other combatant that enjoyed success. Success in trial two, getting a massive nine points. And, I, and in fact, given that uh, Dino fans failed in this trial earlier, if Dexin does succeed here, they will be level with Dino fans on 14 points. Right, taking on the Faganax from, from my team, we got the Gondwana Titan. Do not underestimate this little sauropod. He may be little, but he's got a big heart. Oh, look at it, it's so tiny! Look at this. I love it, I love it. I absolutely love this guy. It's so tiny. Now, interesting tactic here is that he's gone for Kamikaze Tackle for the uh, Faganax here, instead of the usual Firebomb trope. And it might pay off big time, because that is a crit. Oh, look at that! Massive damage! Oh, that's a tie. Can't have got one a tight. Put up more of a fight. Ooh, gets a hit on the board. That's a critical block, I think. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Yes. Oh, look at that Archaeopteryx charm on the counter. On the counter. Negate in that crit block. And that tie will do it. Wow, the tactic of using Kamikaze Tackle really paid off handsomely there for Dex in Winters, and they pass the third trial. And that, for the time being, will put them top with Dino Fans. Okay, representing Dino Smash, for this third trial we got a Decreosaurus. Well, Dino Smash must succeed in this trial, otherwise they will not get into that last 16. So it is practically win or bust. And well, you guys have had a good start so far. Taking on the Decreosaurus, we got the Pachyrhinosaurus, and well, we've already seen him. So we can skip this bit. Well, this is going to be tough. Ooh, good start though. And this Decreosaurus does have elemental power, so a good tactical move there from uh, Dino Smash. They need every advantage they can get. Oh, that's a hit. And with the counter effect, that's going to do a lot of damage. 
Look at that! Not even a crit! Oh, I'd hate to see this thing get hit by a lightning spear. Well, speaking of crits, the Kreosaurus landing a crit of his own. It's an aqua whip. Elemental power will max it as well. Oh, wow! Look at that! And a shockwave as well. Dino Smash turning the screw. And that, that shockwave will mean that Dino Smash can at least do some more damage here. Okay, so they'll be going for a paper. And Pachyrhinosaurus will be going for rock! Dino Smash does it! Smashing the Pachyrhinosaurus to pieces. The elemental power tactic paying off. Well, they needed a response after two disappointing trials, and they got one. And that puts them up to seven points. Right then, representing MEGE10 for this third trial, we have got an Edmontonia. A Super Edmontonia. MEGP10, I believe, tasted success in the first trial. So if they pass this trial, then they will pretty much be in the last 16. Facing the Edmont Edmontonia, we got a Fukuisaurus. Yes, the Fukuisaurus, probably the weakest dinosaur in my team. In my opinion, anyway. So he'll probably win. But do not underestimate its strength. He may be small, but he's a powerhouse. Capable of fook in your team up. <laughs> oh, I got, oh, that was bad. You know what's not bad, though? This start from MEJ E10. Getting the first hit on the board, getting that defense boost going. Okay, once. Um, I'm not sure we'll see the awakening rule, to be honest. This battle might be too quick. Well, at this rate, it's going to be. That's the two points secured. That's twice. Ooh, it's a tie. Oh, now I'll do it. Wow, not having a good start so far. <laughs> Only managed to whoop Dino fans, and that's it. And that is success for MEGP10. Okie dokie, representing Arctic Warriors for this third trial, we got Super Minus. This will be interesting. Arctic Warriors must succeed in this trial to get have any hope again in that last 16. Anything other than success will end their hopes again in the last 16. They taking on the Super Minus. Well, we've seen this guy a few times. We got the Pachyrhinosaurus. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, he's starting with a tie. Ooh, good start from the Super Mimus, getting a water sword off the bat. Badoosh. Feeble damage done, though. Oh, don't go rock, don't go rock. Ooh, I was close. You can't go rock against Pachy Rhinosaurus after, especially after hitting it. Otherwise, that lightning spear will one-shot you. You'll get one shot by a lightning spear. Packy Rhinosaurus does get the next hit, though. It's not a lightning spear. And after the ties, the counter-type effect does not activate, so we are pretty much level packing. Ooh, Super Miner's getting off an Aqua Whip, though. Can Arctic Warriors finish the job? Ooh, I don't even think one hit will do it. I think they need two. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's a hit. The counter effect's gonna activate. Well, it is big now. Arctic Warriors needs this hit. Oh, it doesn't get it. That's gonna be all she wrote for Arctic Warriors in this tournament. The Pachyrhinosaurus proving too strong for Sukamimus. Okie dokie, coming in for Nirvana, we have the Spinosaurus. 
Nirvan kind of went down like a lead balloon in the second trial, but have already done enough, done enough to get into that last 16. If they do pass this trial, then it will give them a, m a higher seeding. Taking on, well, we know we know what who it is. It's Packy Rhinosaurus. It's the counter attacker. This could be interesting. Ooh, that's a tie. Another tie. Ooh, good start there again. The first hit from the van. The Spinosaurus getting off an aqua whip. Ooh, but the counter blitz has been activated. Ooh, hello, we got a shockwave. Hmm. Not the best time to get a shockwave because you're not going to get the hit. Okay, so. Spinosaurus will be going paper. Oh, but. The counter blitz activates. A crucial counter blitz that could be from the Pachyrhinosaurus. Basically cancelling out the shockwave. Oh, that's a tie. Well, that's two points secured for the Nirvan. But they'll probably want the five. Ooh. Will they get the five with this crap? Oh, they won't. But they will with this one. And it's job done for Nirvan. Another successful trial. Which will put them in a very strong position going into the last 32. Well done to Nirvan. Right, on to our next combatant. Dino Slash! Okie dokie, representing Carnotaurus Man, for this third trial we have got a Dinotector. Interesting, I think he's the only one using the uh, armoured dinosaur for this trial. I would have thought he'd use it for trial 2, but no, pick trial 3, and that's fair enough. What's also interesting is that because it has type disadvantage, it will obviously not do as much damage to the Torvosaurus. So maybe there's method to the madness here. Maybe he's hoping to just get an ultimate wind off on this guy. But we'll see how it plays out. Right, representing me, we got Torvosaurus. Now this Torvosaurus is heroic type, and it's got the firebomb. So if it gets off a firebomb, it will do a massive amount of damage to Ace. It will probably cause him fifth, third, first degree burns and instantly cook him. Oh, he's got paper! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Relief for Carnotaurus, man. They do not want to go paper. Okay, another tie. Wait, is Ace tied to fence type? Wow, he is. Huh, I didn't know that. It's interesting because nobody uses Ace Dino Tap during my tournaments. I think this is the first time it's been used. But look at this! Wait, Carnotaurus Man, the man with a plan. Well, this makes things interesting, doesn't it? Is there method to the madness? Well, he's got the Dino Tactor, courtesy of a Aston of Ties. And he gets the hit! Wow! Carnotaurus Man is gonna pass this trial with an ultimate win. Lag my computer at the, in the process. And well, there was method to the madness. Questioned using an armored dinosaur for this trial, and look at that! Five points for Carnotaurus Man, and a place in the last 16. Right, representing Kai for this third trial, we have got a T Rex. Kai was unable to get any points from the second trial, but did pass the first trial, so. Well, they would probably would want to succeed in this trial ideally if they can get at least two points from this trial they will move up to the magic seven mark which will give them at least a chance again in the last 16. taking on the t-rex we got the gondwana titan the little sauropod with the big heart 
Well, it didn't do too well against the Sofagnex. We're looking to make up for it here. This T-Rex does have Dino stuff, I might add. So it is protected from a crit. Just one. Ooh, getting a Firebomb. Gonna start from Kai. Bang! Blech. Oh, wow. Feeble damage, feeble damage. Ooh, but Gondi responds with a crit block. Yeah, it's going to cause a bit of an issue. Right, Gondi, you're going for rock. Ooh, that's a tie. One more hit. Or oh, hell, even a tie will probably take the Gonwana Titan's health below half. Well, there goes the Dino Stuffer. How crucial could that be? Because if that Aqua Whip... That Aqua Whip hit, that might have been lethal. Might have been lethal. Oh, we're going to find them. Gets him off anyway. Okay, maybe it's not going to be lethal. But it's going to leave the T-Rex on very low health. Oh, it is killing it. And unfortunately for Kai, no points from this trial. Which means they're not going to be able to get to that last, 30, last 16 round. Okay, representing Shy Guy for this third trial, we got Gigant Spinosaurus. Bang! Shy Guy, I believe, tasted victory in the first trial. I think they got points. Yes, yes, they're on six points. So they do need to get something from this trial. Just to take themselves above the seven cap. Taking on the uh, Gigant Spinosaurus, we got Fukuisaurus. We saw it earlier. Didn't fare too well. Oh, wait, no, did it win? No, no, it lost. I can't remember now. <laughs> no, no, yes, yeah, right. Lost to the Edmontonia. Fukuisaurus getting the first hit. Is it going to fook the Gigant Spinosaurus up? Or is the Gigant Spinosaurus going to kill it? Ooh, it's a crit. An earthquake. Good res... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's Gaia Mountain. I, um... <laughs> I, think I got caught completely off guard there. Whoosh, whoosh, badoosh. Now, what's interesting about this move is that the damage is set, so tight disadvantage will not apply here. And I didn't mess it up. But I didn't fook it up. <laughs> Get defense boost there as well. And that will guarantee them two points. Ooh, but I think two points might be all they're getting. A super impact. And it will probably make a super impact on Gigant Spinosaurus's health. Again, hungry. Oh, no, I almost killed it. Ooh, he gets a hit on the board, though. That defense boost really helped. That's the difference. Without that defense boost, this Gigant Spinosaurus would be dead. And how crucial was that? Crucial moments there going Shy Guy's way as they pass this trial. And I put it down to defense boost and Onion Wera Dive being the reasons they passed. But well done to Shy Guy. And that will end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. And stay tuned for part two where we will move on to our next 11 combatants. And until then, ta-ta.